To find the derivative of arctan x, we can use implicit differentiation. If y equals arctan of x, then we can take tangent of both sides of this equation to get tan y on the left, and on the right, tan and arctan cancel out, leaving just x. Then we can take the derivative of both sides. The derivative of tan y on the left equals the derivative of x on the right. This is where the implicit differentiation comes in. On the left, the derivative of tangent y is secant squared y times dy dx, because remember, y is an implicit function of x, so you've got to multiply by dy dx. On the right, the derivative of x is 1. We're trying to find dy dx, because that's the derivative of arctangent. So let's divide both sides of this equation by secant squared y. Then dy dx equals 1 over secant squared y. Then we can use a trig identity. We know sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. So if we divide both sides of this equation by cosine squared, we have tangent squared plus 1 equals secant squared. And our denominator over here in our equation is secant squared. So we can replace that with 1 plus tangent squared. Thus, we have dy dx, which is d arctan x dx, equals 1 over 1 plus tangent squared y. But remember, tangent of y, we already figured out, is equal to x. So 1 plus tangent squared y is 1 plus tangent x squared. Thus, we have the derivative of arctan x. It's 1 over 1 plus x squared. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more.